then you realize it's never going to go away. And, and it's, it's, it's a very different, it's a very different, 2 a.m. is a dark hour, I can tell you that. <laughs> Or all. something you wake up and you realize it's never going to go away. And, and it's, it's, it's a very different, it's a very different. 2 a.m. is a dark hour. I can tell you that. <laughs> We're all. I worry about the, the drama stuff that much. Yeah. She wasn't into that. She just liked having fun. was not worry about materialistic things. She was with her friends all the time. I heard from her right. in before we went We're out. I think midnight. Nice. The last yeah. time her drummer and then she was fine. I have no idea. I just know it doesn't make sense. The door locks with the number code. Uh huh. Every time you open it, like I had to go back to the, I had to go around the house to get in the house because of the number code. So they either knew that or they just kind of went around and found the slider open. They were just hanging out at home. Yeah. Santa was hanging out at home uh -huh. with her boyfriend. And her and Ethan were together about a year, mm -hmm. give or take some, whatever, but she, she really, when I went up there, it was a, I saw her just, you know, a week before that, she changed a lot. She, she's, she had a life. She got to see what it was to be, have a boyfriend to live with and have a real life. And she really like turned around and was being really responsible. Yeah. Helping him out into the studies and stuff. I was really impressed. Bruises and just, you know, maybe hurt by the knife or whatever. Yeah. She's getting stuff. She's a tough kid. Whatever she wanted to do, she, she could do it. They either knew that or they just kind of went around and found the slider open. They were just hanging out at home. Yeah. Santa was hanging out at home uh -huh. with her boyfriend. And her and Ethan were together about a year, mm -hmm. give or take some. Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Huda London. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and a licensed cognitive behavior therapist. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. This is for entertainment purpose only. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. This is the case of the idol quadruple murders that took place on the 13th of November, 2022. May the four victims rest in peace, condolence to their families, and may the correct justice be served. It's been a year and a half since the quadruple murders took place. And obviously, we can see that this case has slowed down. Well, actually, it's always been slowed down from the beginning of the case. I feel like it's really sad, especially for the families, heartbreaking, that they have to go through this and wait for a trial that may actually happen in 2025. Because the defense attorney, Ann Taylor, BK's attorney is not ready. She has a lot to go through, and that could take a couple of months or even a year. I can see many people are, are upset about that actually. Today I was just watching, I believe it's Report, Reporter Room, and she was talking about the Ida Moscow case. The reason I mention her, the reason I mention her is because she spoke a lot about this case today. Sorry guys, I'm just having a sore truth. So I was listening to what she was saying and she meant, she mentioned basically, sorry about that, she mentioned basically that Brian Christopher Koberger was following Maddie and Kaylee on social media and that is speculation that isn't facts there's a lot of sources that go around like the media claiming something or the other like if you all remember it is News Nation Brian Enton I believe 